Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be kind of a little bit of an impromptu video. I really wasn't planning on doing this today, but it just kind of worked out that way. Uh, we're going to go do some crappie fishing with the 1.7 inch mini whip wad. These are the motor oil, and I'll give you a little bit of a rundown on my setup real quick before we get into the live scope footage. Uh, I'm running this on a spinning rod. This is a Lose Classic. Uh, it really doesn't matter for crappie jigs. That's just what I'm running. Uh, I've got eight pound fluorocarbon. This is P-Line fluorocarbon. Uh, for heads, I am running 8th ounce Guggen heads. These heads are a little big for this style of mini whip wad, but it still gets the job done. As far as how I have them rigged up, though, I have them about a foot apart. There we go, about a foot apart. And I have them on loop knots, so they have a little bit more action. Just helps it out just a little bit. And one thing I like to do, and you'll see me doing it on the footage, and I'm going to go ahead and explain it to you so you know what you're watching for uh, and what I'm doing. I throw out to get to that brush pile, which we're going to be fishing today is a brush pile, public lake. I like to get the jig a little bit over the brush pile, and then I just like to twitch it. Just slowly bounce that rod just a little bit, doesn't take a lot, and just pendulum your way over that brush pile. And you'll see it on the live scope, it's nothing hard, it's all I'm doing is just bouncing that rod real nice and slow, about like this and the fish can't resist it. It just absolutely works. So keep an eye on the timestamps. You'll see uh, like when we're catching these fish, but it is absolutely going to be a good day. The weather's perfect. A little bit of a clear sky, a little bit of wind, not too much, but I think it's going to be a great day. So let's get into the footage.
Well, uh, I would say that the crappie are indeed biting and that they like the whip wad. That is a double. I have not caught a double uh, in forever. So it's pretty crazy the, how well this jig works. As you can see, I'm not getting too fancy with it. I'm just barely getting over the top of that brush pile, making sure that I don't get hung up. And then I'm just giving it a little bit of a bounce. And for some reason, when you get that rod tip just doing that and trying to take it away from them, the fish just can't stand it. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. All right, that last little clip you just saw, a little largy hanging out on the bottom. It's amazing when you get to playing with this uh, forward facing, how many times you can catch fish and not even see them there. You're just fishing, you know, a brush pile or a rock or just something and you don't even see fish there. And most of the time there's fish there. Back in the water he goes. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It's just a little bit of live scope footage on the 1.7 inch Epic Whip Wads. Really got out on today. That was one brush pile you saw me catch all those fish out of. And this is a public lake. It's not private. I mean, that's just proof uh, at how good those actually work. I caught all those fish on the same two jigs, had the same thing on the top and the bottom, and didn't tear up either one of them. They were pretty aggressive today. You know, I would say about like normal. It's, you know, December here, so it's not like prime springtime or anything. But yeah, we got really good bites. Caught a lot of fish today, and I hope you guys... I did enjoy it. Like I said, that's 8th ounce jig heads running that uh, 1.7 inch mini whip wad. I've got it on like 8 pound test, fluorocarbon. Uh, 8 pound doesn't seem to bother them too bad. This lake isn't overly clear, uh, not compared to some of the other lakes I've been to. But I would say it's just average, average stain. It's not, it's not super clear, but it's also not muddy. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, stay tuned for the next one, and I'll catch you then.